Okay. No, Heavenly Father, we pray that you would speak through me as I speak to your people, Lord. Lord, have them itch and ears that they may hear and be doers of the word. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. In the book of Revelation, the third chapter, beginning at the 20th verse, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. There's a lot of people today that are standing at the door and knock. The reason they cannot get in is because they're not, they're not repenting. They're not giving up to Christ Jesus as a personal Savior. But God said in his word that I will forgive those that has not honored me in this world. So the Lord is asking for all of us to have picture ears that we may be able to stand at the door and knock. If any man should hear my voice and open the door, I will come unto him and I will sup with him and he will with me. God is with you every day of your life. No matter where you go or what you do, God is with you. God gave you the strength to get up out of your bed and go on to your jobs and wherever you may be going. God is with you. The door is open. All you've got to do is knock, and it will be open. God is waiting on all of us to come unto him, all you that are laboring and heavy laden, and he will give us rest. To him that overcomes, I will grant to sit with him with me in my throne. Even as I also overcome and sat down with my father in his throne. Everybody is looking today when we get ready to go and meet God in the air. Hoping that we will be able to see his face in peace. God will be with us as we are. Traveling down that road, Lord, we might turn around, we might get discouraged, but be encouraged because God is with you. God is with me, and God will see us through over hard times and bad times, and as this epidemic, God will bring us through. Just think about it. We are able to sit here this morning and hear the word and, we, and, 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 and praise God in the highest. After this, in the chapter, fourth chapter of Revelation, after this look, and behold, a door was opened in the heaven. We all looking for that door to happen, open so we can enter in. First of all, we got to be repent, we got to be rebuked, and all of this cleaned up so we'll be able to walk through that heavenly door. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet saying unto me, come on up a little higher and I will show thee things which must be and hereafter. Yes, God will show you the things that you have done, show you the things that you're going to do and pray and helping that you will praise him and rebuke yourself and Turn your wicked, turn our wicked ways, and and honor him, and so that we may be able to go through that door. That door is not just a regular door; that is the heavenly door to the kingdom of God. Everybody wants to go, but no, everybody will not enter in. But then, God knows our mind and our soul today. Let us ask for strength and a courage. Meant that we be able to hear him say, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. 
You've been faithful a few times. I'll make you rule of many. And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in the heaven, and one set on the throne. You know, that spirit that we're looking for, we need it right now to everybody that needs to change their ways or whatever the case may be. We need the Holy Ghost and that with fire. Be it as it may, we're all looking to go through that door in the kingdom of God. That way we may be able to see by ourselves that holy city which is before us. It won't be long before he called the road. It will call me, you, and everyone else. So if our house is not in order, we need to get it together. Be prepared for what that is to come. The door will be open. I hear you knocking and he hear you knocking. He have heard your cry of the things that you have suffered on this earth. Be not dismayed. God will bring you out. He will see you through. And most of all, either father when you need a mother, daughter, son, or whatever the case may be, God is with you. And he is with me. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we know that the door is open, Lord. And let us walk down the wet pathway of righteousness for your name's sake. These are other things we ask our daughter, son, Jesus Christ, let me pray. Amen. 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 We thank Brother Larry for that inspiring message. Truly, Jesus today is standing at the door of our hearts. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. If someone's listening today, you feel Jesus knocking at the door of your heart, won't you let him in today? Won't you accept him as your personal Savior? Won't you give your life to him? Turn to him in faith. And he'll give you the strength you need through the, the pandemic and through the rest of your life and into the life to come. Turn to Christ. That is our message to you. We will now have an announcement by Sister Duane Yancey. Yeah. Oh, something. Good morning to everyone. Praise the Lord. I hope that your heart has re received a good message from Reverend, uh, Minister Larry Jones. I'm Duane Yancey, and I'm here to thank you for being a part of our ministry. Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church welcomes everyone in our virtual audience. We hope that you enjoy our services. In the not too distant future, we hope that you will be able to worship with us in person. However, until then, we welcome you virtual your vir virtual participation. If you wish to give to support the ministry, please mail your contributions to Bethel AME Church, 101 North Fourth Street. African, um, Corsicana, Texas, 75110. You may also give online by going to our website, http colon forward slash forward slash www.bethelamec-cor.org under Givelify. We thank you so much today for being a part of our services. 
May God bless you and keep you. It's my prayer. Thank you. Again, this is the third Sunday in the season of Advent, the season in which Advent means coming. We prepare in our hearts for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so we will now have our closing prayer. Father, we thank you so much for the Advent season. We thank you so much for Jesus Christ. As we prepare to celebrate his birth this Christmas, we pray you'll help us truly to prepare in our hearts as never before. He is the reason for this season and all seasons. And in the name of Jesus, the name above every name, we know the day will come, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful day.